car here. Let's do some conditional formatting in our table in Power BI. Let's go ahead and drag in table. And I want to pull in my product category, sales, profit, quantity. So I'm going to pick product category, sales, profit, and quantity. And I want to go ahead and make this bigger. So remember, you can just go to grid. You can go to options. Options has global font size. So you can just increase everything by just going to that. So now we have this a lot bigger. And I'll just go ahead and get it to about right there. Next thing we want to do is go to our cell elements. So we see here in our cell elements, we have sales, profit, and quantity. Now, say, for example, we wanted to go to our sales. We want to change our background color. So all we have to do is just go here and turn that on. And we'll see that in our sales, the one with the darker background has the most sales, while the ones with the lighter background has the least amount of sales. Now, to get a better data view of this, let me just turn off food and spices. So now we see what that would look like if you had done some conditional formatting to your background color. Now, let's go into our profit. So if we went into our profit and then we did font color and we just turn this on, we'll see that the font color basically does the same thing, except the font is darker with the most cells and the least amount of cells. The font is a lot lighter. And we can go into font conditional formatting here and we can change those lowest values, highest values. So if we want to say lowest values or more of this yellowish orange color, we can do that. And then that that is what it will start looking like. We can basically do the same thing with our sales as well. If we go into this right here, we change the color to, let's just say, uh, gray. Then we can kind of see what that looks like. Now, if we go into quantity, and let's just say, instead of background color, font color, we turn on our data bars. We just hit data bars here, and now we'll see what those data bars look like in the conditional format setting. We can come into this conditional format and we can basically say our negative bars will be light. So if we had some negative bars, we can just make them either pink or something like that. We can also change the minimum and maximum to anything. We can change it to something custom if you want to do that. We can say show bar only. So if we show bar only, it doesn't show us any data at all. It just shows us the bars can take that unselect that we can change the direction to our data bars so we can go from left to right or right to left and that is that is basically what it looks like to change the data bars and the last thing we can do here is we've done this in the simple we just turned it on but we can go back to our sales let's go back to our sales and then let's turn on icons if we turn on icons, we can see some differences here. So we basically now have some icons, red icons, the red diamond icons, this triangle, orange icon, and then we have this green icon to basically give us some indicators. And if we go into our conditional format and properties, and I wanted to say, let's just let's just get rid of everything. And I wanted to just give me an up indication. If, if my value is greater than or equal to zero, let's just change it to a number. Let's just change it to uh, 100 and less than. I'm going to change this to a number as well. We'll just change that to 100E9. And then we'll just say a new rule. Just keep this at zero, and we'll just say 500. We'll turn this into red and say okay. Now we have some conditional formatted icons that basically lets us know if it's greater than 500, then give us a green up arrow, and if it's less than 500, give us the red down arrow. And now 
you know how to do some conditional formatting in a table using Power BI.